All right. Good morning, church. It is a special day. So we start off with a baptism with kids, and now we're going to recognize our senior high school graduates of 2024. So this is a huge day. So I'm going to call up all our graduates. Y'all all come up. Come up and stand right here. Stand across the front. I'm going to come over here. This is our class of 2024. We have nine graduates uh, being recognized today. Eight of them are present uh, today, and so um, this is a special day for them, uh, for our church. One thing we know is that um, not only is this a moment to celebrate God's faithfulness in their life, uh, God's faithfulness in their parents' lives to raise them to this point, um, but we also celebrate um, God's faithfulness to our church to raise up the next generation of leaders and disciple makers. And so uh, this is a huge day of celebration. Uh, this is the second class for me that I've seen come in as sixth graders and graduate from high school. And so that's super exciting for me. So that's a huge gift to me personally. And so I remember uh, uh, most of them coming in as sixth graders scared to death, shaking in their boots when they come in the refuge, sixth grade, and now here they are graduating from high school. And so um, we just want to celebrate them together as a church. I just want to say uh, these students have been on mission trips. A couple of them have been to Peru. Uh, three of them have served on our student leadership team. Um, they are disciple makers. They love Jesus, and they want to see other people love Jesus too. And I cannot wait to see what the Lord is going to do with them uh, in the years ahead um, it's just been a joy to have been their pastor and to see them graduate high school. Okay, so enough of that. Let's start over here. Right next to me uh, is Josh Hopkins. Um, Josh's parents are Catherine and David Hopkins. Josh is graduating from Bridge Academy Homeschool and Bluefield University because Josh dual enrolled and also got his associate's degree already. Yeah, what a beast. And um, he will pursue his bachelor's degree, and he has uh, dreams to become a commercial airline pilot. So congratulations, Josh. Y'all give it up for Josh. Next, we have Anna Jackson. Anna uh, is the daughter of Tom and Nancy Jackson, and uh, she's a graduate of Midlothian High School. Uh, Anna serves on our student leadership team, and um, she is headed to Liberty University to major in psychology and Christian counseling. So y'all congratulate Anna. Good job. Next is Sarah Jensen. Uh, Sarah's parents are Michael and Shannon Jensen. She's graduating from Midlothian High School. Uh, and she will attend uh, J. Sargent Reynolds for Baking and Pastry Arts and plans to... Oh, you got some... Woo! You got some... <laughs> And plans to own a, uh, has dreams of owning a catering company that specializes in allergy-friendly foods. So y'all might see her name one day, making it big. Congrats, Sarah. Next, we have Riley Kaczynski. Riley's parents are Joe and Judy Kaczynski. Uh, she's graduating from Manchester High School, and she is headed to Randolph-Macon to study pharmacology and toxicology. Y'all congratulate Riley for me. Now, uh, Lindsay Lewis is recognized next, but Lindsay is not present and was devastated that she could not be here, okay? So we want to recognize Lindsay Lewis and her parents, Adam and Rachel Lewis. Uh, she's a homeschool graduate, and she is headed to uh, Charleston Southern uh, to study kinesiology and sports medicine, and Lindsay has been on the student leadership team uh, for three years, uh, serving in that capacity, too. So y'all congratulate Lindsay as well. Next is Aiden Panero. Aiden's parents are Joseph and Natalie Panero. <laughs> and uh, he's graduating from Manchester High School, and he will enroll in a trade school to learn welding. So congratulations, Aiden. <laughs> Next is Emma Parks. Uh, Emma's parents are Mike and Julie Parks. Uh, she is graduating from Manchester High School. And Emma is uh, the one and only high schooler that has served on the student leadership team for all four years of high school. Um, the, all four years the student, student leadership team has existed, in fact. And um, 
She is headed to Virginia Tech to pursue an occupation in the nursing field. So y'all congratulate Emma. Uh, next is Abigail Rogerson. Abigail's parents are Lewis and Donna Rogerson. She's a homeschool graduate, and uh, she will work and continue pursuing her associate's degree in art at Bright Point. Y'all congratulate <laughs> Abigail. And last but certainly not least is Lindsay Toddy. Lindsay's uh, parents are Jonathan and Heather Toddy. Uh, she is graduating from Manchester High School. And Lindsay will be pursuing her degree in nursing at Bright Point, followed by getting her Bachelor of Science in Nursing at Radford. Y'all congratulate <laughs> Lindsay. So, this is a really special day. Um, just a reminder, you know, this is not just a, these students are not just graduating. Um, they are going. They are being sent. Uh, this is a kind of commissioning for our church in a sense of, ambassadors of Christ now going out into colleges, into the workforce, into adulthood uh, to obey the Great Commission. You know, Jesus said, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. And these students are about to now be unleashed from here to colleges and workforces and offices nursing to go and make disciples for the glory of God. Um, and so we want to we wanna pray for them and send them out right. So what I'm going to do right now is ask the parents of all the graduates to come up and stand beside them. We're going to have a prayer time over them. Y'all join with me in prayer. Lord God, we just want to give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor for this moment. Lord, these, these students are graduating high school, and it is a huge milestone in their life. It is a turning point in their life, a transition point from teenage years into adulthood. Lord, of now going and leaving their house, many of them going to college, many of them going to the workforce, Lord. And uh, they are leaving, but they're not just leaving. They are being sent by you to go and make disciples um, and to go and make disciples among all the nations, Lord. We pray that they would keep their eyes set on things above, not on things of earth. God, that they would look to, look to you, look to heaven where Christ is seated at the throne of God, Lord, and that they would live their lives for the glory of God and not for themselves that they would not just chase their own dreams, but they would chase what you desire for their life. Lord, they would not live for their name, they would live for Christ's name, to make your name great. God, we pray that they would, in the days ahead, when they get lonely and discouraged, may they cast all their cares upon you because you care for them. Lord, would you keep them in perfect peace because their eyes are stayed on you. Lord, would you help them to remember that he who is in them is greater than he who is in the world. Lord, would you help them remember that they can, they can take heart because in this world they will have tribulation, but you have overcome the world. Lord, let them not get discouraged. Let them not fear. Let them not doubt because you promised in your great commission that you are with them always to the very end of the age. May they always remember that wherever they go, you go with them. They, they are never alone. You are with them, and then their family loves them, and then they've got a church right here that is supporting them, sending them, and loves them. May they never forget that. Surround them with your protection. God, keep them close to Jesus. Keep them in your word. Keep them from the evil one. Lord, and you say you don't, you don't, uh, you don't keep us out of the world, but you send them into the world but yet help them stay un, unstained from the world. God, would you just protect them and watch over them to live for Christ in the world where they are headed. God, I pray for these parents who have raised them to get to this point. Lord, as they uh, enter this new season of parenting, Lord, that you would be with them, that you'd give them wisdom, you'd give them comfort. God, when they're afraid and they're discouraged, Lord, would you just wrap your arms around them and may their eyes be fixed on you, knowing that you are watching over their son and daughter. Um, on their own as they are with you 
And I pray that, Lord, you would just uh, give them wisdom in this new season, Lord, of parenting, and that they would just trust you, that they would learn to trust you, and that they would know that you are working in their child's life for your glory. God, I'm so thankful for them. I'm thankful to have been uh, their student pastor for these years. God, and just thank you for that grace. Thank you for this church, Lord, to be so faithful to raise up these students. And we love you. We give you all the praise, the glory, the honor. It's for uh, Jesus' great name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, amen. Let's give them another round of applause, can we?